What's going on YouTube? Today I'm, I'm going to be discussing my thoughts on my previous Powerless Meet, which is playing right here, and the link will be down below. So if you guys haven't checked that video, go ahead and check it out. It was pretty good. I did not place, unfortunately, due to my not my age, not my age or my performance. Because I did perform very good for my age. And maybe my weight, I don't know. Well, I was competing against like people in their twenty in their late twenties to thirties. And I'm only 19, so it was pretty hard to keep up with the older guys when they were when they've been lifting for 10, 15, maybe 20 years, um, depending on how old they are. I think the oldest guy was was in his 40s, I believe. So it's pretty it's pretty crazy for me to be going against um, late 30, 40 year old guys and expecting to place. So I thought he won by age and weight, but I guess it's just um, by weight. So today I'm I'm going to be dis discussing my thoughts and how everything went. So we start off with the squats. I, I opened up with 325, and that was actually my. It's actually 15 pounds heavier than what I finished off with at my last meet. Because my first meet, I finished off with a three, 310 squat, and I ended up opening with a 325. 325, um, my opener, I went a little bit too low, which caused me to misgroove it, but but I still got it up regardless, and it moved pretty pretty decent. My second attempt, I moved up to 352.7, I believe. And it moved really quick. That's probably the fastest I moved 350 in a while. Um, and then we moved on to 380.3, which is a 0.3 pound PR. And it's definitely a speed PR, if you want to say that, because I moved 380.3 a lot faster than I did my 380 back in the gym about 9, 10 weeks ago when I hit it for a PR, which was a grinder of a lifetime. So then after that, we moved on to the bench. Bench, it was absolutely horrible for me this day. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm still sick if you can't tell. But bench was just absolutely awful. Um, I opened up a 245 or 248 actually, and it moved really good. So I had a lot of confidence going, going into my second attempt. And my second attempt was 275, which is three pounds less than my last attempt was in my last meet because I finished off my first meet with a 278 bench. So I went up to 275 for my second, and it was a good weight to choose. It wasn't too heavy or too light. But my back cramped up when I was pressing it, and that caused me to misgroove it also. But I still finished it, and I got three white lights on it. So going into my third attempt, my back was still bothering me from the cramps, and I picked 286. And if you guys do not know, my all-time best PR pause is 295. So my goal for the, for that meet was a 305, a 305, around a 305 bench, and I ended up failing at 286. So I was pretty mad to say the least, and I had to wait about an hour in between each lift because there were so, so many people and only one, one platform. So I, I had about an hour to cool off before I started deadlifting. And deadlifts went absolutely amazing to this day. Um, I opened up with a 402, which was, which went really smooth. And in the warm-up room, everything was feeling really heavy. For some reason, we had to use kilo place, kilo place, so I was probably lifting more, give, give or take more or less what I was actually trying to lift. Um, my final warm-up was 365, and it might have been around 375, or so somewhere around there. Um, so after 402, I, which moved really good, I went up to 430, and that was probably the fastest I ever moved 430 in my life. Um, my back was actually feeling really good this day. There was no pain at all. It was a little bit stiff for my for my squats, but it really wasn't anything major that would have held me back from pushing myself. And actually, my, four th my 430 was actually heavier than my final attempt was at my first meet. My, fi my final attempt was 423 at my first meet. So I was coming off an injury. I was I was sore. Everything was hurting that day. That 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 day, my back felt like it was gonna snap in half. My first meet. So that 4:30 gave me a lot of momentum and a lot of positive energy going into my final attempt, which was 451.9. And my PR all-time PR on a deadlift is 460. And I really just want to hit that 451. So instead of pushing it to maybe 460, I easily have 460 in me. Looking back on the footage, so I'm pretty upset that I didn't go for a 460 or so. But, you know, there's always next time I can hit, hit PRs in the gym, but it's not going to count towards my meat total. So then we moved on to 451.9, and it went really good. If you guys watched the video, I, I kind of locked my knees out early because I really did not want to hitch it, even though I never had a hitching problem. I just really didn't want to hitch that weight because I really want to hit my third attempt. And I and I ended the meet with a with going 8 for 9, <coughs> failing, failing one lift, was, which was my third attempt on my bench. And then my my... 
total was a 1107, so 1,107 pounds, which is a meat PR. I think my first meat was 1,011 pounds or something like that because my numbers were really low at that time. So I hit a squat PR, 0.3 pounds. I did not hit a deadlift, or I, I hit a meat, I hit a meat squat PR in an all-time squat PR. I hit a deadlift meat PR, and I hit a meat total PR. So overall, I did really good in that meat. I'm really happy with it. Unfortunately, I did not place. Hopefully, next next time I can place at least. It was top three this time. I think I think the last meet was top three also. So I think it's top three for every meet. I'm not quite sure, but I'm happy with it. I'm probably going to be competing again in around April or May of 2016, so somewhere around there. So expect another, another meet video about six months from now. And I actually switched to sumo, which I'm going to be starting a new series on. Yes, I'm starting a new series on my sumo journey, which should be, I don't know. It might be up next week or the week after because I, I'm going to start when I do my max effort um, lower, which is going to be in a couple weeks. So stay tuned for that. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys did, make sure to leave a like, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. And the pain was worth the news. The man hit by sliding the reward of $21.5 million. James Hansman received a huge payout after a unanimous court verdict from eight jurors.